When you visit a national cemetery, such as Alexandria National Cemetery, you'll see women service members interred here. But you can notice that you know they're not off in their own section. They lie next to every other person that's ever served. You know, national cemeteries cross boundaries of gender, or race, rank, social class, everything like this. That in itself shows you how we honor people that serve. Everybody's equal in the eyes of you know, their service to this country. 18 female veterans are buried here at Alexandria National Cemetery, and of those, only two of them were Yeomanettes. The Yeomanette program, which is actually Yeoman parentheses F, was created by the Navy in 1917 because it was the only specific rate in the Navy that did not specify gender. The Navy quickly learned that it had a personnel shortage. They were not meeting the numbers that they needed for this, you know, giant world war. Uh, so what they decided to do was they opened up enlistment to women for that war, and it was the only branch of the military to do so during World War I. This was hugely successful. Thousands of women joined. They had no idea it was going to be as significant as it was. And it was also the first time that women were given the same rank, respect, and pay as men in the military. So a lot of people would think that the Yeoman Fs would only really stay back and work in clerical positions, but a lot of them actually served on ships. German U-boats in World War I were actually a pretty serious threat at that time, and it became more necessary to have Yeoman Fs in different areas of the fleet. So there were clerical positions that they did, but they weren't just classified as just nurse or somebody who does paperwork. They had a lot of different and multifaceted jobs as well. So it was one of the, I would say, fundamental moments in female military history, but also American history as well. Women still didn't have the right to vote. They, you know, the 19th Amendment hadn't even been passed yet. So the women were allowed to join the military, but not allowed to vote yet. But the impact that they had was long lasting. That same year, in 1920, the 19th Amendment was passed that allowed women to vote for the first time in huge part because of the service that the women had you know, dedicated during World War I. More opportunities open up for women because they have proved they can serve in the capacity equal to men. As a veteran, it's a real honor to do something that matters. I feel kind of a general connection to female veterans as a whole. We are, in and of ourselves, um, kind of a minority in the military. It also matters to me as an American. And I'm honored to have the ability to do something so significant for the veteran community and their families.